The following may not be appropriate for all audiences. Okay, hey everyone, thanks for joining us uh, once again on the Low Fact Podcast. Uh, the end of the week coming up. <clears throat> Boy, are we tired. So, I got Matt so and hot. Andy out here. My tits are tired. Your tits are tired? Well, you said you were tired. I'm, just saying I'm, I'm really tired. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be awkward at first. Did you just say my tits are tired? Yeah, tits are tired. My tits are never tired. You never have, like, just sore tits? No, my tits are so old. They For just... the women who are listening, you feel me right now. <laughs> my, my, my tits have lost all feeling, so... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> my tits are numb. <laughs> That's how tired they are. Okay. So now that you know the... Uh, the uh, I'm confused. The physical condition of uh, Andy's and my tits. Memory glands. We don't have memories, do we? Memories. Men have memories. No, they have, pec- they have pecs. Memories. Isn't, isn't the memory where the milk comes out of? Oh, I don't know. If men have memories, does it mean they've, they've got, like, what is it, gyno, gynoplasty or whatever? Can we squirt ourselves? No, it's, a, it's, the, it's, the, condition, it's the condition where, you, where if, you've, if you've abused or if you've taken a lot of steroids, you... Oh, like uh, Meatloaf from uh, Fight Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it, a... It leaks? Yeah. Could, could well, he definitely had tits because, like, remember he gets hugged. No, that happens. That happens. And he was like talking about how comforting it is to be hugged by him. People, people who who take ster- men who take steroids because it, it, it increases the level of, of their testosterone. Their body compensates with inc- upping the level of estrogen. <laughs> Sounds safe. And, and, and they lactate that. Yeah, it's a condition. Could they feed a baby? I uh, don't think that baby would want to be fed, but. <laughs> Really? Well, it doesn't matter what the baby wants. It's the fact that if he could be fed, are the nutrition's in the male milk good enough? No. I say, oh my god! Maybe it, I don't know. I, you know, I've I, never. I will take Roy. Who is this we, person? I have never. <laughs> I have never you? thought to ask that. I've never <laughs> thought to, to go I've, that far. I've known you for at least months <laughs> in a in a different situation. I'm like, who are you? I will take Roy's. Somebody, one of you two have a baby. We are going to make this work. Science is the best way to test things. Isn't it impossible for either of us to have a baby? Well, we would have to have a baby with a woman. Oh, that's right. Uh, this isn't no, twins. You guys know women? No, what's the, what's the film we were, with We were Andrew hoping to, to kind of meet your, the women you know. <laughs> they yeah, would what? never let me feed their baby. <laughs> that They're probably pretty smart then. <laughs> they're bitches. <laughs> They're, they're not they're, they're not sharing they're not very cool about it they're very selfish like an andy milkshake doesn't sound good to you come on well sitting here right now i, I have to agree i have to say no not really see you're you're part of, yeah. i'm part of i'm part of the problem you're part of the problem <laughs> there's a whole group of men dedicated <laughs> to feeding these starving babies how revolting revolting <sighs> like that just Dude, that just that the, the image that that conjures up is like in that last Star Star Wars movie where where Luke Skywalker is like milking that weird animal, getting oh, the green, getting the green milk. I thought he should have like picked at his teeth, you know, because he's <laughs> got hair in there or something like that. Because if a male feeds a baby, you know, it's gonna have like hair stuck in its teeth. That's that's pretty gross. Unless you're, oh, I'm sorry. Are your nipples clean and bare? They are actually. Oh, shit, never mind. Uh, mine are too. I shave them. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm pretty much hairless. Ah, so. oh, then I, I, you're the one who has to feed the baby, though. Guys, I think we're going into the territory of two MI, TMI right now. Because <laughs> I want to feed babies. Well, just talking about our nipple situation here. <laughs> Good lord. Fair enough. I, I forgot what we we're going to talk about. I mean, that's that's how. This is like uh, he's like gone low brow. Like we've become the lo- we should call it the low brow. Dude, we're not maybe. that high brow to begin with. He's oh just my god. And he's got no barriers. Is that a millennial thing? You're representing millennials right now. You know that, right? Oh, God. I'm a horrible representation. That, that's the best representation. <laughs> like, I despise part of my generation. <laughs> like, why was I born now? Then I realized I hate every other generation. And it's just, it's just fucking me. <laughs> At this point, it's just me. So, so you're a misanthrope? A misanthrope? I like to call myself a contrarian to society. Well, there you go. Wow. A contrarian has found our podcast. What are the chances of that? <laughs> <laughs> that seems pretty unremote. We'll work on that baby thing later. All right. Okay. As long as you can introduce me to some girls, I suppose I might. I might. It, it seems like any, uh, a pretty decent trade. Just don't make them listen to the podcast. Well, I don't know. Before they meet us. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe the maybe the women we deserve would listen to that and go, huh? Hmm. Active. <laughs> <sighs> That's crazy. What, that the women are going to make you meet or the baby feet? I don't know. It, it's it's They're both a little scary, and yet I'm just sitting there going, oh. They're mostly women. I'm just thinking, like, what are they <laughs> Mostly? What are you? How can you be mostly a woman? How dare you assume that all that there's only two genders? <laughs> because I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> well, I assure you, the trans women, they're looking way better these days. You'll even notice it was tucked in. Okay, well. Well, like some, well they might have had the surgery, too. Well, I, uh, as far as I know, yeah, they cut it off. I've watched the surgery, actually. It, 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 it's really kind of disturbing. How do they do it? Well, first, they they take a laser... And they kind of empty out the shaft, and they cut off a lot of the a lot of the head to where you have like what can only be described as an extremely large clitoris, and then they they shove the shaft in, <laughs> and then afterwards, uh, God, you know, you have to, my bullshit. And then afterwards, they ha you have to you have to keep going back to the doctor to, to like you have to insert stuff in there so that it doesn't close up. Oh, you don't know how hard I'm cringing right now. My balls are thinking right now. Thank God you know what you are. <laughs> of course, because I'm because I'm totally in a in a scientific mode right here. I'm not even thinking of it. I'm, I'm disassociated from it, so I'm not even here. <laughs> I'm very visual. So that shaft was cut right in front of me. Oh yeah, it was the first time I saw it. Why I just were went, you watching this? I was watching surgeries on YouTube. I do that on YouTube. Uh, this one particularly, yes. I, some I, I I just like enjoy. So you watch surgeries, but you won't watch like fight videos and stuff like that. I watch fight videos. I just I just lose interest really fast, especially if it's too un, especially if it's a realistic fight. Right, right, right. Because then they're kind of boring. Because really, a realistic fight only lasts you know ten fifteen seconds at most, and really, it's you get the drop on someone and pop them in the head, and the other person goes down. Fight over. Good point. Surgical's a lot longer. But you can go down any you can go down any rabbit hole on YouTube. Doesn't I'm, matter what it I'm, is. I'm more into watching like a a choreographed fight, you know, something that like a, like a Chinese kung fu fight that goes on and on and on. I'm like, well, okay, definitely not against. So that. I watched like five hours of random acts of kindness videos the other day. Wow, did you feel like a better person after you watched that? Those are like the it, wholesome videos. It made me want to do like good works and do good things. For How long people. did that last? You mean like the feeling? Yeah, about a day. Oh, not bad. Yeah, I'm usually over that shit the second the video's off. Really? Yeah, You're just like, like on to the next thing? On to the next thing. It's like, all right, that was a really nice, sweet moment. Now let's go watch this guy get fucked in the face. Or and when I, saw this, <laughs> when I saw these people doing these things, I was like, wow, these people are such good people. So did you do anything nice that day? No. No? But the thought. Was but I was, I was nice towards people. Is it the thought that really counts? Is that true? Do you yeah, think it's the, the thought, thought that really counts? Do you think that it's the thought that counts? Um, as a lazy person, I want to say definitely yes. Like, I thought about buying you a diamond ring. That should be good enough. Like, honestly. But in reality, I don't think it works that way. Well, no, but is it reciprocal? So, like, if someone else thought about some, doing something nice, you were like, oh, yeah, that's cool, that's nice. Or? Uh, I think of it as nice. So like, oh, okay, you thought of me, that's kind of cool. But there's a lot more materialistic these days. So, like, like I thought of getting you a sweater. Why did you get a dick? And then all of a sudden, you're the asshole. Well, no, like, like uh, let's I saw this really nice piece of chocolate cake, and there was two. But then I was like, oh, I should get one for Andy. But then I bought one, and but I was going to bring you some chocolate cake. See, and that'll lead to my sadness, and now you're dick. Because <laughs> I was thinking of it in, in terms of, like, let's say someone's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come help you move. And they didn't. They don't show up, and you're like, dude, why didn't you show up? I'm like, well, I thought about it, <laughs> and then you know, you ghosted on a movie date. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when your friend calls you, and they're like stuck on the side of the freeway, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I should be there in 20 minutes, and then you just don't go. <laughs> they just don't never show up. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't either. No, no, no. That's the worst situation, though. By the way, like I can't, I can't, really? I can't no. say. Going and helping a buddy stuck on the side of the freeway oh, when there's no. like traffic gun by yeah. 90 miles an hour. It's fucking horrible. Have you know, done that before? No. I've, actually, I've had to help. My mom was on the freeway that way. That's pretty scary. I try to find an excuse, but family, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, like if I say I'm going to do something, I can't not do it, which is really annoying. 
Oh, okay, so you don't make like false, uh, like, oh, I'm going to do this tomorrow, but Never you're really going to do it if you yeah. do say that. If I say I'm going to do something, then you can pretty much bank that it's going to happen. Okay, okay. <laughs> and there are times when it's good, but for me, I was just like, I really don't like that aspect of my personality, which is why I'm very noncommittal about stuff, because... When you do commit, it's fuck 100%. Yeah. Full tilt, mate. Full tilt, full tilt. I remember that. For, for movie day? For future reference. Like, dude, I need to move. Will you help me? Will you answer me? Answer me. Answer me. If you say yes, I swear to God, you better say yes right now. And if I hear a yes, I know you're dedicated. Yeah, well, that's 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 the that's the thing. It's just it's it's it can be it can be quite annoying and, and unhelpful. Like if I say I'm gonna punch you in the face, then it's gonna happen. Oh, okay. I never thought of it that way. Actually, that's a good point. <laughs> you know, okay. I, so like like. And and I don't know I don't know if that's just a personality thing or an age thing, but if I say if I I don't I don't make threats. <laughs> Idle threats. Sounds like a WWE line right now. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it, yeah, I don't make threats. Exactly. It's it's, <laughs> it's just if I say I'm going to do something, it's going to happen. Like if I say I'm going to kill that guy over there, then that's going to happen, and I don't like that. That is the guy that will get get out of his car, and then the other guy will live. Oh shit! This guy's actually getting out of his car. I've done that a couple of times. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, then let's go. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm fucking fucking it. It's like this is not worth like, like an hour drive. I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> yeah, you were in the car that day when that happened. I was small man in a truck going off like he was gonna like get out of his car and have a big fight. Yeah. yeah. Dave was like, "Come on, then." Gets out of his car, guy just. Left me hanging, man. Left me hanging at the stoplight. I guess he really wasn't ready he, to... He, he ran a red light to get away from me. He wasn't ready to throw down, but he chased you for like 20 miles. Well, if you're going to if you're gonna tease me... Okay, he followed, followed you off the freeway, followed if, you when you pulled... He pulled over when you pulled over, and then he wasn't if ready you're gonna, to lay down. If you're going to give me that down. much foreplay, I, I expect something. <laughs> you know you ruined that guy's day, right? Not only did he feel like a bitch running away, <laughs> he's, he's thinking about it all day. He's like, oh God, I can't tell anyone. This is... This guy just fucking. I was talking all this shit, and now I got. I got. Dude, nothing he to was. Back it up. He was talking a lot of shit from out of his big truck. I was. I hope I'm I did. He was probably five feet tall as well. Dude, I'm five feet tall. It, it would have been a fair fight. I don't think so. And you pushed out. What kind of car was he driving? He was driving like a giant truck. Like a uh, like a like a like a Ford F one fifty King oh, Crew Cab. Man. That's the car known for overcompensation. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, why do you need a big ass pickup truck in Los Angeles? Get a little Ranger, <laughs> put your fucking hipster furniture in the back, and go home. Like, what do you need an F one hundred and fifty? See, that's or why. That's why. Ram. That's why. Like I said before, that's why I need. Maybe it's just more people because I did not know that. <laughs> it's, a, it's an over conversation. You, you can school me on on culture now. I mean, because like I, I learned about bears and beavers and overcompensating trucks. I'll fight the guy in the F one hundred and fifty. But the second the guy in the Prius C pulls over, I'm fucking booking. A guy who really doesn't care about his car, <laughs> like he's got nothing to lose. A Prius, <laughs> that's the scariest kind of a point you can ever have. Someone who's got nothing to lose. His social status is already low. He's in a Prius C. <laughs> is that, speaking, is from that? A, speaking from a Nissan Sentra, I'm not that high either. <laughs> what about a Subaru? I drive a Subaru. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Man. I used to drive a. Um, I'm like one step above lesbian. <laughs> I used to drive a Volkswagen Jetta, 1999. Oh. A very, very manly car. The the amount of looks I would get from guys who would thought I was a college girl because they would look at me and like about to smile, <laughs> and then it's like a guy, and then like, like, why are you driving your girlfriend's car? <laughs> You're supposed to be a blonde who was born in Malibu. <laughs> Why'd you have a Jetta? That was that was my first car. I was happy to have anything. Nice, nice. Car. I love that car. It That's get, funny. It's ridiculous. But yeah. So there would be guys that pulled out ready to... So ready to like, all right, let me hit on this chick. They would, it would always be like really nice cars too. Like, Dude, that is the quintessential sorority girl car, the Volkswagen <laughs> Jetta. <laughs> That's why. I, I rep it still. I know it's a very non man Jetta's car. a nice car. I had a girlfriend that had a Jetta. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, now that we've gone on and offended everyone... <laughs> I think that's enough damage for the week. You're right. Fuck Jettas. <laughs> uh, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram at Lofat Podcast. Uh, you can email us. Please email us. Lofat Podcast at gmail.com or you can just search Lofat Podcast and find us on Stitcher, iTunes, and uh, YouTube or wherever else you pick up your feed. Thank you. <laughs>